and it's a big one. Yeah! It's a competition, boys! What is up, guys? We're out in East Texas on a beautiful uh, Sunday morning, 6.55 a.m., and we're doing a big old YouTuber tournament this morning. We got a bunch of friends out here with us. We have Chef Bad Bass and Bass and Bucks over yonder. They're on the boat. They're already having at it. We got Devin. She's going to be on the GoPro. We are rocking the kayaks from the Guggen Warehouse. We're uh, borrowing Lunker's uh, trailer and all the goods here. We got that bass fishing dude right here. The brand new Juicy Jig, Crack and Crawl Texas rigged. Devin's hopping in with a uh, clutch and then a Texas rig and the Saucy Swimmer. And we are about to have at it. It's 2v2v2. Two v two v two. All right, Devin's on the water. So yeah, 2v2v2, like I say, Jeremy's joining us for the first time today. I'm gonna put everybody's Instagrams down in the description below, so check everyone out. But I gotta get to fishing, man, because competition's at stake. What we're doing is we're going for some tackle. So the team who catches the biggest five fish, the team with the biggest bag, right? Most weight out of five fish is going to go ahead and secure themselves 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, $120 in tackle. All of us anteed up $20 in tackle for the winning team here. So we're going to get after it. We might also do a secondary prize for the biggest fish. Who knows? But let's get out on the water and have some fun. Getting everything rigged and ready. We have the water, the dry storage compartment. Uh, we got the Yak Attack. Bam! Check this thing out. I've never used this before, but we actually got a net today, so I try not to lose a big fish like I did in my uh, MTB video on the bubonic cranks. You can push this down through one of the holes in the yak, and it becomes an anchor for your spot if you're in like uh, three to five feet of water. Got all the tackle goodies scale and a uh, few choice combos. Let's go. All right, let's kick things off with the new zinger. See if I can't get hit on this puppy real quick before I start to sink a little bit lower. All right. Slow start, slow start. Oh, there he is. Oh, God, dog. First one of the day, that's how it's gonna go. Let's see what the first catch weighs, you guys. That was retarded, completely off camera, but Juicy Jig just letting it sit. I was saying, normally they're always on the moving bite here, but it's just a little bit slower, slower of a morning. So there we go. First fish comes in at 2.18. About two and a quarter right there. Sick. Let's get back down there. Just right. Okay. All right. Sure. Right after that switch up, boys. Okay. I see you. Two in the boat, one off the hook. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Thank John B for the color recommendation. You already know what we're throwing cinnamon lunker log. Shh. Let's get this party started. That is two. Two fish. And dang, did we get that hook set? Alright, where'd that scale go? Let's see what number two is looking like. 1.91. That is a deal. Let's go. Almost a two-pounder. Second fish of the morning. Could have been the third if I didn't lose that first one, but who's complaining? Oh no! Damn! He came off! Here, come here. Yes, he Don't let him go. Gotcha! Dude, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Well, you ain't big, but I'll take you. <laughs> Feels good to catch a fish. It's been probably like a month since I've caught a fish. So, all right, bye, bud. Got a big one. Oh, it's a fish. Oh, it's a fish. Oh my God, he was swimming with that worm. Okay. He's taking me. What do we got? Oh my God, okay, it's a good one. It's a good one. Might be a three. Might be a three pounder. Might be a two. 
It might be a four, it might be a five. Oh, hey. Woo! All right, it's a big one. It's a toad. It's a toad. Oh, God. Where's that net? Where's that net? Oh, my God. How the hell do I use this thing? Come here, baby. Oh! <laughs> yeah! It's a competition, boys. We out here. Oh, my Lord. SLX DC, baby, 17 pound, Guggen Squad, Formal Carbon. Let's go. How much does this thing even weigh? Oh, it's a bucket. It's a bucket. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Settled at 5.66. She was looking like five and three quarters. Damn. Damn. Look at that fatso, cold fatso. Oh my gosh. This is a competition, boys. Look at what it choked. Oh my gosh. The third fish in the yak this morning, you guys. Holy smokes. I'm talking about almost a six pounder. 5.66 is what the scale settled on. It said 5.75 for a little while, but we're gonna go with 5.66 in the name of competition. And oh, just a fatty. This water is freezing cold. She's definitely chilling. There we go. Oh, where'd she go? Uh, now she went out. Oh, she went out. Yeah, there's okay. something. So I think I think Devin and me are the only ones to catch fish so far. You landed one, right, baby? Yeah. So she's got a fish, and then that was uh, 5.66. We've got a 1.91 and a 2.18. So things are looking good for us, considering nobody else has caught anything yet. Let's catch some more. Gotcha. Come back. Yeah. No, you stay in the boat. You stay in the boat. You don't get to leave the boat. Finally. All right, I just made the switch back to the trench hog because that lunker log was kind of falling a little short with me. That was my, I don't even know, maybe second or third cast without trench hog, just letting it really sit slow. Just letting it sit, popping it very, very slow and this little chunk came up and picked it up. I do not have the scale on me, but I'd say he's probably a good solid two, maybe two and a quarter-ish pounds, but that's my biggest one so far of the day. Just a couple minutes before I picked up this one, Brandon just got a pretty sizable one, so I'm thinking that they're starting to get a little bit more active this morning. But as the sun's kind of coming up a little bit more, it seems like the wind is gonna still stay with us, but that's okay, as long as they're biting. Let's get this guy back in the water and get after it some more. Maybe bite is on. They are cold. Those are some cold fish. Oh, that's a good one. Woo! Come on, boys. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, he might get out. He might get out. Over here by these trees. This will be a quick release. We gotta get him back in the water because I don't think he's gonna count towards the total numbers of the day, but we're gonna put him on the scale regardless. Oh yeah, almost two pounds, 1.94. Sick, let's go. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a fish. Yep, got him. All right. It's a party! Got him, boys. I think that's number five for me this morning. Because the grass down here is kind of thick, so sometimes you're pulling through it and it's just a little heavy. And the bass are just barely gulping it and they're just holding on to it and kind of swimming away. It's not an aggressive bite this morning. And so, uh, like I say, it's hard to detect whether you've got a fish or you're just like pulling through the grass. So how are things looking for you guys? Slow. Any fish yet? You've caught some fish. This is what we're going with. Rocking and rolling. Zero so far. Nothing. I bet they'll hit the moving stuff here soon, bro, because that's normally what they always are on. Like, always here. It's getting colder, but I think it's going to happen. I don't know what they want. Ooh. This spot is more challenging today than it has ever been. We've been throwing bottom baits only, and it's almost always a moving bait. I switched up and used the cinnamon plunger log for a minute, but I didn't get anything, and as soon as I switched back to the trench hog and threw it, like, my third cast back, ended up linking up.
up with that two pounder, I would say. I would say Devin and I are in the lead because it's been a struggle bus this morning. I think a few of the teams out here got one or two. And um, yeah, we're just over here chillaxing for a brief second, but we're about to get back out on the water. I know the bite's going to pick up. It always does here. So we're going to take advantage of it after a quick Dorito break. All right, back on the water. Big old recon tied on in a color I've never used. This could be exciting. Let's see if they're gonna hit this moving bite. It says dives eight to 12 feet. I am using 17 pound fluorocarbon though, so it won't dive quite as deep. I might keep the rod tip up a little bit. I'm just saying all these things because it's, uh, it's a deep diver. Well, crankbait's going back up. Honestly, I just figured I'd try it for like 15 minutes, but I've been on the bottom almost the whole day because, yeah, they've been acting a fool. I feel like I'm drifting into a good spot, though. Oh, I didn't think I had a fish. Huh? <laughs> Can't even tell with this weightless. Dude, the bite's so subtle today, though. I'm just, I thought I was in the grass and just pulling through it, but he was on there. You can only imagine, man. And there's some fish, boys! Yeah! In the boat! <laughs> I'd be cheating with that Guggen scent. 130. Well, it'll help. Let's go. Jer Jeremy just caught a pounder. I was on my way with the net, but uh, <laughs> I think he had him wrapped around the branch there. <laughs> yep. All right. There we go. Nice. Fat. Let's let a little tight go. They are liking that cinnamon, man. I've never thrown this color until today. Never thrown the cinnamon colored lunker log. I don't even know how this worm is messed up, but it is effed. Oh, he let go of it. No, he's got it. Oh, he didn't have it. Dang it. Hey, come hit this zone. Like it, right here where it drops off, I've been getting some bites here. He's on. Huge, huge. <laughs> and you just gotta let them come to you. Like, I'm not, I'm not even really keeping the line tight hardly because this wind is going crazy. So like, I'll just lift up every few seconds or whatever. And if I, if it might be one. No, grass. It's so hard to detect weightless in the wind, dude. Dude, I don't even know. I think this thing's been on for like a two minutes. Jeez, Louise. Okay, there we go. Thank goodness. I'm gonna let him get back in the water. Poor little guy. Got him a little deep. Oh, nice. I'm on two. All right, I wasn't filming. Weston will be mad. It'll be okay though. I went ahead and I took Weston's advice. Threw on a weightless T-rig with the lunker log in that cinnamon color as you can see right there first cast i shit you not over into these twigs over there i get this guy so i think you know right now it's it's pretty grassy on the bottom and that texas rig was just going into the grass too much and it wasn't sitting kind of on top for these guys to get it so man it is starting to pick up. Actually, we just quadrupled up. I want to say it was myself, Weston, Brandon, and I believe Chef or Josh were all on at the same time. So, guys, that means that we are going to get some bites. Let's go. Just got one. Oh, this one's not that bad. Second biggest of the day for sure. Second biggest of the day. This might be three. All right. Yeah, it might be three and a half. It's chunky. Sick. And I actually detected that bite and we got hooked him right in the top of the mouth, just like that big old five and a half pounder. Extra dope. These lunker logs are just putting in work today. Full-size cinnamon lunker logs. God dang. John B is always recommending this color, and I never threw it because I don't really like it, but now I love it. 
I was like, eh, that color, that's not for me. But it turns out it is. 3.15, so just under three and a quarter. That's what I'm talking about. I just landed the second biggest fish of the day for myself, Devin is over there linked up as well and uh having a good old time we're about to wrap things up i'd say it's closing in on 11 30. brandon's got a split here in a minute so let me go ahead and put this in the books and uh we might call it here in just a second oh yeah He's a flopper. That's a two and a quarter. Oh. The flippy two, the flip, flip, flop. You don't stop. Do the long clock, baby. are cold but I think they're starting to bulk up crushing it on that cinnamon colored lunk or log with the five aught stickies hook getting it done oh good one ish they want nothing to do with like moving stuff I'm like letting it sit for forever I feel like you're the exact same fish I just caught. I believe that that is fish number six for me. I think I missed one that I didn't record. Yeah. Uh -huh. On that note, with that catch, it is now time for another GoPro battery change. So catch you in a sec. Just got off the water, time for lunch break. Let's go and get some grub. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching the 2v2v2 challenge. Devin and I came out on top with about 14 pounds worth of bass in our top 5. Maybe 15 pounds, uh, but who's counting really? Honestly, it was a tough day for some of the other teams. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, it wasn't really a fair competition. We got lucky maybe throwing the Guggen baits. So. The your one, one fish, the one which fish. is actually technically your second largest... I've, yeah, second largest, second largest bass on today's video. Seriously, my first, uh, what did I, my first biggest, <laughs> the biggest <laughs> my first, bass. <laughs> my first biggest bass is like just over six and a half pounds, and then my second biggest was fishing with John B, and that was five flat. Uh, Devin's got me beat at like six and three quarters, but that's just temporary. That's okay. And uh, yeah, so we thank you guys for watching. We had a ton of fun, caught some big ones. We had a blast fishing with other people that we don't normally get to fish with that often. So you'll definitely have to check out all of their social media information in the description below. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Boom.